The rate of teen suicide is soaring. According to the CDC, the biggest increase is among black teens. From 2006 to 2016, the suicide rate for black children between 10 and 17 went up 77 percent compared to 70 percent for white children. Experts say there are several causes including access to mental health care and children just not feeling comfortable asking for help. Well, a brother and sister from Georgia are hoping to change that with the simple press of a button. Teens Hannah and Charlie Lucas created the Not OK app. Now, if someone is feeling depressed or having suicidal thoughts, they can press a button to alert a friend or a family member that they need help. It's an idea that can help save lives. Hannah and Charlie Lucas are here with us. Welcome. Hi, thank you for having us. Thank you two for coming on. So talk to me about this app. I see this wonderful picture of you two with the, with the phone. How does it work? What does it do? Well, the Not OK app is essentially a panic button that when pressed, it says, hey, I'm not OK. And it sends this message to the pre-selected up to five closest contacts. When the person, when the closest contact actually receives this message, they also receive a link to a website that has the person's GPS location. They wow. could also say, yes, I can help, or no, I can't help. And they could also get directions to the person's location. So you've created, Charlie, a little app, which is a panic button. So if I am in danger and I have selected people to to alert them, I press a button and they find out exactly where I am and that I need help. That's how it works? Yes. So how did you get the idea? Um, well, actually, after being diagnosed with a chronic illness called POTS, um, I went through a really bad phase of depression um, because along with being a normal teenager and dealing with the pressures of being a normal teenager, um, I was also suffering from a chronic illness, and those two combined didn't mix well. Um, so it, the idea for the app came to me um, at the lowest time in my life. Um, what was happening at that time? Well, after being bullied at school constantly and even being threatened by fellow students, um, I was so depressed that I didn't know what else to turn to, so I started self-harming. Mm -hmm. um, and in the midst of that, I was crying and I was a mess, and the one thought that occurred to me was, I'm in so much pain and I'm causing everybody else around me so much pain and resources and money, and I can end it all right now. And so, right before I did anything too rash, um, my mom actually walked in the room and she saw me self-harming. And um, the first thing that she said was, Hannah, why? And I, I just snapped. And I said, I can't take it anymore. And um, so she started holding me and we were both crying like toddlers. And in the midst of that chaos, I cried out, I wish I had an app where I can just open up my phone, press a button, and a couple of my friends will receive a text saying, hey, Hannah Lucas is not okay. Come check up on her at this location. Thank goodness you created this. You were in such a storm at that moment. It's extraordinary. One, because I see so much light coming from you. I see so much potential and joy. And you care about so many people, but that you were in that storm, and in that moment, you decide to create a solution for so many people across the country who are dealing with similar issues is really commendable. Thank you. What's the reception been like? Um, people, they're just excited about it because I didn't realize it at the time. I don't think my brother did either, um, but this app can be used for so many other things mm -hmm. than just my illness or my depression or what I'm going through. It can be used for drug addicts um, or recovering drug addicts uh, to because they have their um, support group on their phone. They have basically a mobilized support group. Um, it can be used for physical reasons like me passing out. And, and that's the nature of your illness because you pass out, is that right? Yes. Now, you have received a lot of recognition and even an award. The two of you have gotten an award for this. Yep. Who, who gave you an award? We could talk about it. 
well, we actually won the the International Black History Award for Blacks in Tech. Wow. That's pretty extraordinary. <laughs> and you know, what's nice about it is that the technology you're creating has such a social bent, so it's not just to download more music or to find a date or things like that. You are finding a support group to actually save lives. It's wonderful yes. that a brother and sister are, are doing that, because I imagine that you were her support as well when she was going through a crisis. Yes. So how do you feel that you've turned this crisis into a product that could help so many people? It just feels so uplifting that I could actually help Hannah with this, and in the process of just wanting to help her, I get to help more and more people just like and turn them away from that dark place that Hannah was in. Thank you too so much. It's really quite extraordinary. We have Hannah and Charlie Lucas, creators of the Not OK app. Thank you so much. Good luck. Thank you. Next, as more Americans follow their consciences and protest, we have a look at the health risks that they may be facing. You're watching Arise America. <laughs> 